scaling new heights in viral video. <laughs> From its modest HQ in downtown Seattle, ICANN has Cheeseburger has become an icon of web culture. With just 50 employees, the online laughter factory has global reach. But as its co-founder tells me with pride, its roots are planted locally in America's Pacific Northwest. Seattle's a great place to build a tech company. That's why we built Cheeseburger here. As an employer, it's a lot easier to build a company here versus states like California or New York. There's a huge pool of talent here for us to choose from, and it's just a great small community that's really supportive of each other. Seattle is a vibrant, laid-back city, a strategic seaport trading on Asia's economic success. Beyond its famous coffee houses and cloudy skies, it's also long been home to some of the biggest names in tech. Down by the waterfront, you'll find yourself in Amazon Town, legions of blue-badged workers putting a human face on the digital retail giant. Head just over the river to Redmond, and a more legendary player still hoves into view. Microsoft's sprawling campus is almost a town in its own right. With 40,000 workers, the software giant has historically been a backbone for much of the local tech industry. Today, it provides a rich pool of talent for rivals like Google, which recently set up shop in the area. But Seattle is about so much more than the big established names. Today, a growing number of innovative young startups call this city home, and they're looking to make their mark as the household names of tomorrow. Some 350 are dedicated to interactive entertainment. Many trace their origins here. This is DigiPen, the world's first video game university. For the past quarter of a century, it's been a cradle for young bucks shooting for big bucks in the burgeoning gaming industry. Today, its 1,500 students learn the ropes of everything from graphics code to controller design, reinforcing Seattle's position as a global player on the tech scene. The greatest majority of software that people use in the world comes out of from here. So you are in, a, in the blender of software making, and uh, we are in the middle of the blender, at the center of the blade. It's this creative energy and dynamic young workforce that invites comparisons between Seattle and its Californian counterpart further down the coast. It really is an alternative to Silicon Valley. It has a lot of strengths. You can come here and not have the, the cutthroat competition for talent. You can have a better chance of getting strong software engineers for your startups in many cases. But Seattle is still finding its entrepreneurial feet. Local investor Chris DeVore is amongst those trying to encourage it. He complains that funding is in short supply and that Seattle currently lacks the pioneering spirit and risk-taking mindset it needs if it is to live up to its potential. You need to have a culture where instead of people thinking when they get out of college, I'm going to go get a job at a big company, the instinct has to be I'm going to build a big company. And I think in, in Silicon Valley, in California, that's what you really have, which is the default impulse when you get out of business school or computer science is I'm going to go build the next fill in the blank, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook. I still think in Seattle the impulse is more often than not, it'd be great to work for Jeff Bezos at Amazon, and it would, but it's not the same impulse. And rewiring that impulse is no mean feat. Seattle has undoubtedly laid the foundations of innovation, but to steal the jewel from the crown down in Silicon Valley, that may take generations.